my research primarily focuses on unraveling uh, reaction mechanisms for uh, uh, chemical reactions which are important in energy conversion processes. So I apply the quantum mechanics principles to study that what is the exact path that uh, a particular reaction might be taking so that we can uh, design uh, maybe better reactions or better catalysts. With this program, I, I'll get a very strong uh, background in computations and uh, maybe more uh, into data analysis. And uh, yeah, I'll try to add value to overall research. The CSER program, I see it as, a, an, as an opportunity. And not just an opportunity for me, uh, but it's more like a multi-dimensional opportunity. It's an opportunity for science, society, and industry to come together. Before applying to this program, I was working in oil and gas industry and I was doing more of theoretical work, interpreting seismic data and well log data. And then I realized my interest in more of computational work. And in CSER program, I could find a lot of projects which were giving me a lot of options in computational science in energy perspective. So that was one of the motive for applying this program. And uh, on top of that, uh, I found it interesting because it has a unique collaboration with Form and Shell. So it, I hoped it to be uh, not just a standalone PhD, but also like a practical assignments, internships through the PhD. So that's why uh, I choose this program. I would like to continue my research, um, maybe in same field, maybe in advanced field, and. Uh, but yeah, after I'm done here, I would like to settle in India for uh, further my work. Applying to the CSER program goes back to my college days where I got to know about this program and I was really interested in f solving some of the fundamental problems in science. I would see this uh, four years of my stay in Netherlands as, uh, as a time where I would have made uh, certainly a lot number of friends. I would have uh, made many good connections and on, on a technical scale I would have uh, learned a lot uh, uh, regarding, the, regarding the project and regarding the science that I learned here. Uh, what I expect from this program is uh, in the next four years, uh, as I, I'm, I'm a part of uh, uh, this PhD program, I'll uh, get to know more people, get to learn more science, and uh, be able to solve or be able to actually uh, give some ideas of the problems that are there in the community or let's say the energy sector and uh, feel satisfied. I was always interested in doing research uh, in, in the field of energy and energy sciences. And during my master's, uh, I was already using some computational methods to, to tackle problems in energy. And I felt that this program was uh, sort of perfect because I can then uh, move on to a PhD and, uh, and also sort of continue to focus on the same area of using computational methods to, to tackle problems in energy research. One thing I was very sort of uh, surprised and also like happy is that almost everyone, right from uh, people in the supermarket to all of the uh, professors in the university speak really good English. And so that sort of really helps you to uh, uh, to get used to the, the the country much faster. And one thing really cool about the Netherlands is that there are a lot of these biking trails that you can go around really and explore. So every weekend I try to uh, I try to do a lot of biking because I, I was also biking a lot in the in the U.S. And so that has helped me because uh, uh, to to sort of adapt more uh, to this biking culture. I think the conference is a good place for us to meet the other colleagues who are working on different problems in energy, so I hope that there would be a lot of these PhD students involved in the CSER, CSER program in the conference, and so I can look at their talks or their posters and also talk to them about the kind of work they're doing, and also meet, um, meet some experts in the field. So there are some really uh, good scientists that are coming to give uh, planetary talks during the conference, so it would be really uh, nice to talk to them about their research and also listen to what they have to say. And also to meet some people from Shell, uh, they will also be there. So to know what what really happens in the in, in the industry and how how much it is different from what we do here in the university. So.
So my research topic is on understanding the mechanism of hydrogenase enzyme. So these are the enzyme which is responsible for production of hydrogen. So I will be trying to study how or what is the uh, role of this enzyme in the hydrogen production and try to come up with some synthetic catalysis which can produce hydrogen. So that's the idea of the project. Before joining here, I used to work for a US-based company where I deal with a lot of people outside the India. So I have talked with them and I know how they manage their work and how do they do things. So that, those is one of the best example which I could tell, which I can use. I used to manage, you know, the Dutch culture or the people. Like, you, know. you know, I had some expectation which is going to be before coming to Netherlands and expectations are almost correct but you know the expectations and experiencing are completely different things so now I'm really experiencing how the life in Netherlands and it's really beautiful.